All right, everybody, so it's Super Bowl Sunday. We got the game on ready to go. It's about three hours prior to, and in this video, we're gonna be cooking pretzels from, what kind of dough is this? Biscuit dough. We're gonna be cooking pretzels from biscuit dough. I'm pretty excited about this. Samantha is the co-host right here. Ooh, go Falcons! She's a Falcons fan, so here we go. Samantha, show us what we're doing here. Okay, so what I have here is a quarter cup of baking soda in the orange box, baking soda. Have water, that's simmering. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil, put the baking soda in here. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Stir it around a little bit. While that's coming up to a boil, we're gonna cut the biscuit dough, roll it up, and then we're gonna boil the dough in here and then bake it. So, kind of a multi-step process, but it'll, it'll go quick. What kind of dough is that? Um, it's just Pillsbury Grand biscuit dough. I think you can use whichever kind of biscuit dough you want. So we're gonna make a double batch just because we have people coming over. Order it. Roll it into a ball, and then you want to score it with an X. So there you go, there's our first ball. So again, we're gonna drop the balls in the water with the baking soda as soon as we're done rolling them. So just like. You wanna roll it? All right, so we got all the little pretzel balls ready to go. We hand rolled them and she's putting the X's on them right now. And then we're gonna put them in the pot over here that started boiling. Boiling, 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 yeah. boiling. Boiling. All right, Samantha, how long do you let them boil? All right, so you let them boil for one minute. What I think it does is doing it in the baking soda creates that crust that you get from a pretzel, but the soft inside. So you boil them, the baking soda for one minute, put them on the pan, put salt and egg wash on it, and then bake them for 15 minutes. Look how they, look how they got bigger. Wow, they expanded. So we're making these because we're having people over here in a little bit for the game. We figured pretzels would be, pretzels, pretzels? Pretzels. I'm not speaking very well today. It's a good hand food or a little, you know, food bites for the game. And so we came up with the idea and I, where did you get the, the, the recipe from? Um, I saw a Facebook video about it. Yeah, so Facebook video. We're doing it. And then we're making some cheese dip. So the video credit, I don't know who it goes to, but we're making it. Don't let it spew over. What's this, Samantha? Uh, egg wash. Egg wash. So that's just eggs that's been sloshed around? Yeah. Is there a theory to this? Um, it just makes it like a in. nice crust, yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a little, a little wash. And we have never done this before, Stop. guys. So. All right. So you, you want to spread them out a little bit. All right, what's the next step? All right, so some salt. You can put a little salt on it. I don't have that big crunchy salt, so this will have to do. I like them salty. Not too salty, it's salty. Oh. It's a fine line between too salty and salty. All right, and then you bake them. So what do you got the temperature on? Uh, 425, I wanna say 
it's about 15 minutes. So we'll see what they uh, turn out like. In the meantime, we're going to boil some more. Boiling more. I'm excited. So the, so the paper we're using to cook these on is just parchment paper from Publix. Yeah, they, and, should, they shouldn't stick to it. Yeah, we're just cutting it to the pan size. All right, you put, you're putting the egg wash on now? Yep. Oopsies. You spilt it! No! All right, so she's pulling them out of the oven right now. All right, try one. All right, we're gonna bust one open. Bottom looks good. They look they look good inside. So they look like they're cooked all the way. They're actually really good. Mmm. Tastes like a pretzel. Tastes like a pretzel. So I'm gonna let those cook. Then we're gonna make a cheese dipping sauce. The pretzels are finished. We got them out of the oven and the second batch turned out just fine. Make some cheese dip to go with them. Yeah, yeah, ch the check out the cheese dip. It's gonna be amazing. So what'd you put in the cheese dip? Um, I started off with some butter, melted it down, then put some flour in it to make a roux. Put a little bit of milk and then just shredded cheddar cheese and then a couple ounces of Velveeta, the block of processed cheese, and just a couple ounces of it. And I made it, salt, pepper, and cayenne. All right, so there you have it. It's the end of the, uh, the pretzels. Comment down below if you got a better recipe than this because we're sharing here, we're sharing information. This is our first try at it. And they actually taste pretty good. So don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and I'll see you guys later.